Hi, good morning everyone. This is Michelle Arangas from BSE English 3A and for today's video, we'll talk about Bakhtin's dialogism and heteroglosh. Question number one would be what I learned about Bakhtin's dialogism and heteroglosh. So we actually believe that in every novel there will be like a lot of characters or uh, one or two characters and with the characters there was what we call POV or point of view in each characters. So actually Bakhtin's do not believe that it's not only by the creativity of the author but he is highly critical of such an emphasis on the author which he sees an expressing monological view of the novel. So which means that each of the voices of the novel or each of the voices of each character in the novel has its own perspective, validity, and narrative weight in the novel. Also, he said that the author does not place his own narrative voice between the character and the reader, but rather allows character to shock and subvert. It is thus as if books were written by multiple characters, not a single author standpoint. So instead of a single objective world held together by the author's voice, there is a plurality of consciousness, each with its own world. So the reader does not see a single reality presented by the author, but rather how reality appears to each character by using or by analyzing each voices that a character had in the novel. For question number two, how will I apply this in my literary readings in the future? So through Bakhtin's work, I can be able to analyze the voices of the author and other persona or characters in a certain novel. I believe that through Bakhtin's dialogism and heteroglossia helps a lot when it comes to squeezing one voice and trying to understand their point of view. Actually, reading a novel or any kind of books is quite beneficial, but it becomes way more beneficial when we use Bakhtin's dialogism and heteroglossia in understanding every little part of the character's point of view. Thank you.